What do I feel like? My eyebrow is like sticky glued right now. Ugh, I'm sweating so crazy right now. Fresh out the shower, uh, so fresh as a queen. This is the reference picture I just showed her. I'm gonna show you guys how to give yourself a facial app. I swear my face is the most snatched it's ever been. Do you guys see the little white head that just came out? You have a little red light therapy. Y'all remember the Euphoria cast video? Yeah, well, she's back. Hair reveal, are we ready? Hello, and welcome back to another glow up video. You're wondering why my voice sounds so goddamn sexy? <laughs> it's because I just woke up, okay? Ugh. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. Nice to meet you. Um. <laughs> So today is glow video. I know I say this in every video, okay? And I know you don't believe me. Just kidding, I know you believe me. Why am I assuming you're not believing me? Should I go get therapy? Oh my god, ha hashtag new year, new me. No, but on a real note though, new year, new me. I'm doing something I haven't done in like, mm, let me do the math. No, like literally when was the last time I did this? Oh my god, I think it's been like realistically four years since I bleached my hair. <gasps> I was gonna say two, and I already thought that was crazy, okay? Something about me is I'm very impulsive, and I put an end to it because my hair was falling out, and then every time I brushed my hair, I would just see like strips of my hair just fall onto the floor, and I was like, okay, babes, it's gotta stop. And I actually like mustered up some fucking self control to stop myself. Anyways, it's been four years since I bleached my hair. But the thing is, until this moment right now, I didn't realize that it was four years and I thought it was two years and I was like, oh, whatever, like hair goes back. But I'm like, in four years, I'll be 25, you know? Like, is it gonna be like another four years before I have hair like this again? And now I'm like a little bit concerned because I'm like, I don't know if I like that. I'm like, do I cancel this appointment? Time is currently 8.30 a.m. I was supposed to wake up at 5.30 a.m., but clearly that did not happen. This whole new year, new me thing is gonna take me a while, okay? In today's video, we're gonna be doing everything on a budget. And I, I, I don't know about you, but I just paid my taxes. Uh, so... But you know what? We're gonna live in that abundance mindset, okay? The only reason why we're doing like everything at home is because like we just trust ourselves so much and we just have this deep intuition and trust with ourselves. And it's like only we can like just like know the best for ourselves, you know? This is gonna be affordable and on a budget, so we're gonna be doing my eyebrows, and by doing my eyebrows, I mean laminating my eyebrows, showering, shaving, waxing, doing a facial at home, because those started to get expensive, you know? So then I ended up just buying all the tools that they use at the facial place, just so I could do it at home, cake my face, do a full face makeup. I don't know, it's just gonna be fun. It's all about the journey, not the destination. But if you do want to see how much prettier I look by the end of this video, stay tuned. This is my before. This is the skin. This was a pimple, this was a pimple, this was a pimple, this was a pimple. And all this was a, was a pimple from eating candy. But then I did my whole zappy zap thing with my face tools and like it ended up zapping them away. But I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. All right, time is currently 10 a.m. I'm in Soho, headed towards the hair salon right now. I don't know how to feel. I don't know if I'm nervous or if I'm excited, but it's gonna be so much change. And also, I haven't done this in five years is what I realized. 16 was the last time that I bleached my hair. So I'm a little bit concerned because I'm like, there's a reason why I vowed to myself that I would never bleach my hair again. But then years gone by and then I forgot about it. Okay, so this is the reference picture I just showed her. I want like, Hair. The thing is, apparently, like I got hella split ends, so we're gonna see how this turns out. I imagine my hair is just fried after. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited, guys. Ugh, say goodbye to this. This was five years in the making. I've gone through extensions, black hair dye, different treatments. Like we've been through it, guys, to finally get long hair like this. And now I'm just about to bleach it all. It's for the plot. So here's a nice before of my hair. Literally tell me why going into this, I thought my hair was the most healthy, luscious thing in the world. And then she goes to tell me, yeah, you have split ends. Okay. 
Okay, we just got done bleaching my hair. It's probably been realistically like 10 minutes and look at my hair, bro. It's literally blonde. Like, I don't think my hair has ever lifted this good. I'm so excited. I feel like we're stepping into a new era, okay? We're stepping into a new era. And just, just the fact that it's been five years, that it's just like, how could I not be a new bitch with this new hair? You know, like, it's impossible. Y'all, I swear to God, I thought I was seeing magic happen right in front of my eyes. I don't know how it went from black to blonde so quickly. These girls were putting in the work. <laughs> Yeah. It looks white, but after you remove the like, foil, you mm -hmm. see like orange color. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do the lips slightly longer. Okay, we are now bleaching the roots. My eyes are burning, but guys, the blonde's kind of looking nice. I'm like, do I leave it blonde for a little bit and then just come back whenever I'm ready for? Like, I feel like blonde is kind of cute. Like, this blonde is turning out fire. My eyes are burning. Oh my god. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the She's <laughs> looking orange. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do a second bleach. Yeah. Day. The hair is done. She's hiding behind this bonnet, okay? We got a lot to do, babes. How was this lighting? She's giving Oompa Loompa. I said, I will jump here. <laughs> no! We have a long, 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 long list to complete in the next three hours. Okay, I have my photographer friend, Zay. You guys have like literally seen him in every single video at this point. We were celebrating his birthday in the last video, but he's gonna come shoot some flicks of this new hair so we can do the IG reveal because I told you guys on Instagram that I dyed my hair, but I didn't reveal the hair and everyone's trying to be a little sneaky, sneaky little girl and search me up online to try to see if there's been any sightings of my hair color. And I just like, I need to do the reveal. I've been posting stories in black and white and it's just not the vibe. The first thing is to laminate our brows, which I haven't done in a minute. I went on Amazon and I bought this. It's a lash lift kit and brow lamination kit. I don't know, this either could turn out really bad or really good, there's no in between. I had this era where I laminated my brows, but every time I did it, it turned out looking like a barcode, like literally like beep, scan, yeah. So we're gonna try to not achieve that look today. We gotta stunt, we gotta slay for this reveal, you know? And if you already know, shh, keep your mouth shut. So this is what the kit is looking like. I'll have everything linked down below. Obviously. User manual. Wow, this is my first time actually reading this. Okay. First, I'm gonna use a little bit of Vaseline and put this around my brows. Lift glue. What do I feel like my fing eyebrow is like sticky glued right now? Are you guys seeing this? Like it's like super glued. Now I'm gonna add this perm lotion onto my brows. Now it says to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over the eyebrows, you know, throw it in the microwave a little bit. Okay, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Let's take her off. She's a little bit pinky red, so it's giving irritated. Ooh, she kind of looks good. I feel like usually I have to like gel my eyebrows up. Oh, not my hair falling off on this cotton pad. If you guys hear the sirens, uh, it's New York. <sighs> but I'm not gonna lie, they're giving very irritated and they feel raw. Raw. Oops, I read the instructions wrong. You're supposed to put this fixation lotion on it, but why is it blue? I'm, blue. I'm a little bit concerned. How does it look?
All right, the shower's organized. Bitch, swear. All the old products are on the floor, but we're gonna remove this eyebrow lamination now. Hopefully I did it right this time. I think it did. Like, I think what it did was basically fry my eyebrows here so that like they stay in any position that they want. Cause low key, this smells burnt. Whatever, time to wax. Okay, I have y'all set up in the weirdest angle possible, but we're gonna wax the brows. I have my little, hello. This is what the setup is looking like right now, if you were curious. We're gonna try to not knock this wax warmer off. But I'm actually feeling good about this. Like my brows kind of look fire laminated. And this light, oh shit. Let's not break another camera lens. I'm feeling hot right now. What am I wearing? I'm wearing a sports bra. Do you guys mind looking at some titties tonight? Ugh. The Alkmaar hoodie's gotta come off. Ooh, not the hair exposing. No, get back in here, girl. Oh my God, that's burning hot, bro. I was watching my old glow videos and bro, instead of going to get popsicle sticks at the dollar store, I literally just went to Starbucks and stole some stirs. Slay though, because we all know where Starbucks is at right now. Why am I scared? Three, two, because what if you're fucking Skin rips off because it's so sensitive. Okay, oh, look how clean that brow is looking. Damn, why don't I laminate my brows more? This is kind of a slay. Do you guys want to see what we got? Let me show you. So this is my new favorite skincare product. Wow, it's so good. Also, I went from having two armpit hairs to like 20 in the past year. She's turning into a woman, guys. Three, two, I'm scared. Oh, okay, that was cute. It was really cute, look at this. Nice little moment here. Guys, whenever my brows are not good, I'm not confident. <gasps> oh my God, I'm featured in my first freaking Forbes. Oh my God, this is so cool. Wow. Uh, bitch, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I was supposed to just grab three hairs. Now, where did those all come from? Girl, I don't know what the f that just did, but I can't even notice, so I'm not even mad. Ugh. Did y'all hear that? That was a good one. We just waxed like all the hairs over here. 10 out of 10 would recommend getting a wax pot. And if you don't, get like one of the microwavable wax kits. Don't burn yourself though. You have been warned. Also don't wax off half your eyebrow. You've also been warned. Don't be going to tell your mom that it was my idea when she looks at you and half your eyebrow is gone. Three, two, ugh. Bro, do you guys see this? Why is there now like a dip, a dip in my hair? This is not supposed to happen but the armpit hurts a lot, like a lot, a lot. And the last time I did this, my armpit literally started bleeding. Should I like put some powder on it? I'm sweating right now. I heard that like putting baby powder on your armpits before you wax them helps a lot, but I don't have baby powder because I ain't got no baby. So we're just gonna use some powder and see if it works. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really scared, but I'm gonna act like I'm not scared and that I do this all the time because every time I do this, I act like a little, bitch and then it's just a pain in the ass to edit it's like oh my god girl are you gonna rip it are you not gonna rip it like let's be so for real here oh 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 we're just gonna go for it and we're gonna act like this is so easy and we do this all the time really pops ready <laughs> fuck i'm sweating so crazy right now three two Oh, oh, this powder thing. I think it's I think it's real because the last time I had difficulties. Wow Seeing like the hair follicles is so Satisfying you can't tell me that ain't satisfying. Wow. Oh my god. I'm sweating I just wiped and I'm already sweating guys. I'm feeling confident in this one right now Not to lie. I was a little bit scared. I was a little bit nervous I was a little bit not excited because I was scared of this waxing moment, but this is actually pretty good Okay, come on Ryan. You got this maybe one day I'm gonna season myself up and train myself up to wax my own cooch But I'm lying about that that one. I don't think I'm ever gonna do that. One time when I was a teenager, like 13 years old, I like sat over the toilet and plucked every single one of my pube hairs. What did she say? Safe to say I was bored. Why does one of my armpits have more hair than the other? Come on guys, we got this. Let's go, hide me up in the comments, hide me up in the comments. Three, two, fuck. Three, two, fuck. Three, two, fuck. Three, two, ugh. That was not as clean. I don't know guys, that looks pretty satisfying to me. Okay, let's shower. All right, all right, all right. It is now shower time. Start off, we're gonna exfoliate using the Fenty Skin Cherry Dove. Look at this consistency, y'all. Ooh, uh, you can tell it's thick on. You can tell it's gonna give a nice scrub. You got the game fucked up. Walking into my life, trying to switch everything all up. Something I can't define about ya. Yeah, I think I like it.
Right babes, now that we're fresh out the shower, it does not just stop there. We can't just do this whole thing and then just forget to moisturize. I'm talking to me in the past. I used to just shower, do the whole nines and not moisturize, okay? No, 2024 is the year of health, taking care of our skin. Our skin is our largest organ in our body, guys. We have to make sure we're taking care of our skin. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna use body oils and then also use body creams first off we're gonna start by using an oil this one is by toucher don't mind the mess all right this is one of my favorites it's made in japan smells amazing i don't really use it that often because i love it so much that i don't want to waste it but it's so good we're gonna lock everything in make sure our skin is silky smooth okay ladies and gents you can use any oils i have oils ranging from five dollar ones from marshall's to super expensive toucher ones it does not matter guys it's not the product that matters it's the feeling you get, okay? So I could be using $100 and I could also be using $5 and it's gonna feel the same because at the end of the day, I'm taking my care of myself. And then once we get into the routine of maybe taking care of ourselves for a, for a month, maybe we can save up our money to buy a more expensive product, okay? Because we deserve it. But just remember, you don't need the best products to feel good. All right, I'm gonna do this to the rest of my body. Okay, now this next product I'm gonna show you from here up because quite frankly, I'm naked underneath. The Amazing Grace. Listen guys, we wanna make sure that we are matching our scents. If you have a vanilla body wash, use a vanilla scented lotion. Mmm, this one is this berry scent. This is Amazing Grace. God, look how whipped and creamy this looks. I'm so creamy. I'm so excited to use this. Guys, it's like, look how luxurious. Wow, how can you not feel good about yourself when you moisturize? Like, this is just another level of like, if you know, like literally dripping snot out my nose. Whenever you see a girl, she's wearing maybe a skirt or a dress, and you just see her arms and her legs are shiny and oily, it's like, wow, she's on a next level type of self-care, and that's how we're gonna be this year, guys. All right, now that we're nice and moisturized, it is time to do the whole facial, okay? I used to go get facials done, but they were also like, and 300 bucks. And I just don't know if I'm live, laugh, love in that price, okay? So, I'm gonna show you guys how to give yourself a facial at home. First, you'll need a facial steamer. I got this off of Amazon. So we're gonna fill this facial steamer up. Oh, it's up to its max. Plug her in. On. We're gonna attach this attachment, and you can really do it whichever way you want. I'm gonna have mine going up towards my face like this. We're gonna need a face mask, any one of your choice. You can get these at Winners, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. We will also be needing some sort of razor, dermaplaning razor. If you guys can't get yourself one of these, I would recommend just going to, again, TJ Maxx or something and picking up just a facial razor like this. I get packs from there for super cheap and I just keep them in my drawers. And then also, this is extra, but a blackhead extractor. You can get one of these on Amazon. Also, a gua sha. This is something that I, out of all the products, this is amazing because you can use it every single day. This is one from Savage and I love it because I drop everything so if it's glass I'll break it but I've been gua sha my face for every day for like the past three four months and my jawline is actually existent and then also one of these high frequency wands I got mine off of Amazon I'll have everything linked below for an at home facial this is also something super extra but if you really love taking care of your skin and you want a snatch face this is called new face I saw it everywhere on TikTok and I wasn't convinced but they actually sent me one and I've been using it every single day for the past couple months as well and I swear my face is the most snatched it's ever been okay let's get what we are going to do is steam our face. Okay, so while the steamer is going, I'm gonna gua sha my face. This is, I guess, my gua sha routine. And I think I'm gonna make one on TikTok so you guys can follow every day if you guys want to. And I do about like five swipes every time. Sometimes I go overboard because it's just fun to do and it feels really nice. I used to not have a jawline and I just feel so much more confident about myself now. Like my neck just looks so skinny. It runs in my family, but we don't have chins. We have double chins and especially as you get older, you get more of a double chin and I'm trying to, I'm trying to beat the genetics, you know? Then also what I like to do is take it and go like this to my lips. I feel like it just makes them look so juicy and plump. Like, oh, so good. I finish it off by going behind my neck, this down, and this just feels so nice. And I just feel like this releases so much tension and that is my gua sha routine. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my new face. I use both of these every night. It's just a device like this to snatch your face up. So I take it on like the medium setting and then I go like this 
weight to lift. Imagine like the way you're pulling, your muscles are gonna remember to go up. I really like it and I love that it creates routine in my nighttime. And it honestly gives like an instant facelift. Like if I'm not feeling confident or something, I'll use this and like I'll feel like my face is so snatched. Okay, now that we're done with that, we're gonna shave the face. I'm using this dermaplaning tool. I'm just gonna go, oh, look at these freaking little pimples. All right, I'm just gonna go crazy and start shaving my face. Okay, peach fuzz. And like, if you have facial hair and like it's hard for makeup to stay on, I think that this is a really good tool to invest in because you might like pay so much money for like different makeup and stuff to try to make your makeup stay, but maybe dermaplaning is the way to go. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna extract the blackheads using this blackhead extracting tool. Babes, was this even charged? Your face needs to be wet, so I'm gonna spray it. And just get all that gunk out of the, of the pores. Ooh. Do you guys see the little white head that just came out? The vibrations are vibrating. Ew, that looks real nice though. Wow, that was such a good swipe. So I just finished doing the blackhead extraction and oh my God, this is all of the gunk that I got out of my face. That was so satisfying, like seriously so satisfying. I feel like my face is renewed. You can just see that the where the blackheads and whiteheads and just sebum used to be is just cleared and empty. Now I'm just gonna go in with some pokey tools like this. I just got this set off of Amazon and for these two little pimples right here, grab a little bit of alcohol and clean it off. And then I'm also just going to wipe off these two, just poke them to create a hole for like the sebum to escape. Squirt anything else out. And just like that. Okay, and then there's this really cool red light tool that I got sent and I actually really like it. And basically you put a sticker on your face like this and then you can take this little red light tool and put it on like this. You have a little red light therapy thing on your face. All right, y'all, time to go to the nail salon. We have arrived at the nail salon. And by nail salon, I mean my office. Ma'am! I have these nails from The Nail Room in New York. I used to get my nails done from them all the time, but now they made like press on nails. This is what they look like, and we're just gonna stick them on. Okay, this is the before of my nails, by the way. They're literally so wrecked and ruined, and they keep breaking and everything um, because I don't take care of them and I fuck around too much, but the nails are literally inside of the nail. Like, it doesn't even grow outwards. Okay, we have one down. All right, nails are done. Look at that after. It took us, what, 12 minutes? Pretty good. If I do say so myself. All right, let's finish this whole glow up off. So now I'm going to put on this Cairo rubber face mask. This is a firming collagen one. And what I love about these masks is that they have these little packets that you're supposed to put on your face. Yeah, well, she's back. We're gonna lose her on for like 10 minutes. Face mask done. Hopefully my skin is feeling hydrated. Ooh, the skin's looking nice and fresh. This is my mom, come say hi. Hi. She's gonna be helping me with my hair today, which, oh my God, hair reveal. Are we ready? Are we ready? Ah, she's pink. Could you guess? Um, a lot of you guys are being sneaky on Getty Images and searching me up on Google to try to figure out what my hair looks like. And some of you guys were successful. And if you were, you sneaky, sneaky little girl. Mm -hmm. 
but I'm gonna take my hair out and blow dry it so that it's straight for the outfit But I am obsessed with this pink hair if you guys don't know I had pink hair about five years ago And I tried all the different hair colors and pink was my absolute favorite It was the one that I had the longest so I thought that we would go back to pink hair But also like why are these waves kind of looking way malicious right now? What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. I feel like this is just bringing back the crazy impulsive me It's kind of bringing back an old piece of myself because I used to express myself through my hair a lot I'm gonna get ready now because my friend's gonna come over and we're gonna take some pictures for Instagram Literally if you guys are watching this as soon as I release this video You guys are watching this live and we're all reacting to the fact that I have pink hair right now 2024 is a new era if there's something that you've been wanting to do that you've been scared to do now is the time okay because if we can physically embody a new version of ourselves it's just going to help so much more with everything else that you want to do such as like your habits and your goals it's going to make you feel like you're a new person if you can try to do that externally as much as you can it's going to help it so much more just on the inside but i also have a bunch of pink makeup and a bunch of different things that we're going to try from the pr today let's get started like look at this are you freaking kidding me like what? We're gonna be doing it all today. So I do gotta hurry up though So I'm gonna play some music and we're just gonna get started Okay, so this is the outfit. It's from Tay Park. They actually just dropped off today. It is so cute. We're gonna try it on for the first time. I'm so excited. I've literally been eyeing their stuff on Instagram forever now. So I'm so excited to wear a couple of their pieces. Okay, the sun is setting. We have to get changed really quick. Okay, this is how the tops look so far. Okay, this is so freaking cute. Okay, I just put a little bit more eyeliner on, but Zay just got here. Say hi. I think we're gonna try to get something with this sunset in the back. Guys, I've literally had this piece of paper stuck to my wall for forever now. Please help me make my manifestation come true of hitting 1 million followers on Instagram. That would literally be so insane. We are so close. If 6,000 of you watching this video right now clicked follow, we would have 1 million followers on Instagram. And the 12 hours of sitting here and editing this video would be worth it. It was worth it anyways because I am so excited for you guys to see this video. If you enjoyed, please comment, subscribe do anything thank you for watching this video i put my heart and soul into this and i hope you like my new hair okay i hope to see you again Cute. bye he he he. i think we did it this looks so your sick. Hair is sick your hair is so sick thank you oh the whole video comes out yes oh this makeup is so cute guys i think i found a new way of doing makeup 
I'm so happy with how everything turned out. I just filmed the TikTok. We just took the pictures. I'm literally about to sit down after I eat and edit this video and post it for you guys because I need to get this out now.